Today we'll be talking about a movie called Family Plan, all the family plan starring Mark Wahlberg. Now for us pretense, this show's promise to be one of the greatest spy movies ever, be amongst the great. It starts off with a plan, a regular suburban father with a wife and kids, you know, living a regular life, he's anti-technology, he doesn't want to be posted on social media, gives you the illusion this guy is out of touch with technology and pretty much doesn't know what's going on. But then this film shows a little bit deeper, a little layer. It shows that this man used to be a former spy, former assassin, former government agent of some sort. And he's got these people that we don't know about that are chasing, trying to kill him, trying to make him pay for what he did in his former life. Granted, this man has been away for over 14 years, maybe 15 years. He's got a wife, he's got kids. It's a whole new different ballgame. So these people are hunting him. They hunt him down. They got trackers in his car. And he, he drives all the way to Vegas, you know, try to get the family, new identities and whatnot. Fine. He doesn't take a plane because he'll get tracked on a plane, but somehow the road is safer. Okay. He goes on a road trip. And unbeknownst to his family, they don't know this guy used to be named somebody else or used to be somebody else. Now, at first glance, I don't have a problem with this. I'm enjoying this. This guy is driving. He's driving on a long journey. You know, he's trying to keep his family safe. He's killing people on the road without his family knowing it because he's a brilliant, he was a brilliant assassin. That, that makes it awesome. I'm like, wow, this is great. And I'm enjoying it throughout the whole process. I'm enjoying the, the car chase. Woo. I'm enjoying him eluding the bad guys with some of the coolest illusion skills or getting away driving that I've ever seen. This guy's drifting a minivan. He's drifting a sedan, a family car. He's doing incredible stuff with this car. And he's doing it in front of his baby while everybody's asleep but headphones playing <laughs> some of the most sleepiest music you've ever heard in your entire life and it all seems great he's gonna make it he's gonna get to vegas he's gonna get his family passports and he's gonna make it and he's making the best love he's ever made to his wife everybody's happy the kids are opening up to him they're reading their secrets life is great and just when you thought oh my god she about to hit the fan it does hit the fan we got to discover who's hunting this man and i'm sorry for spoiling it his own goddamn father is hunting him. and why is his father hunting him you ask me did he steal their money did he murder a family member and get away nope this man just went up one day and decided that i can't kill people for money no more i can't do this life no more and he got away from his family his biological father by the way he got away from this life of an assassin changed his name started a new family and his old family looked for him they looked for him but he was undercover for him he he left no trace he, he got a new last name he did everything to make sure he got away from his family his murderous family was built with assassins and whatnot and even an old girlfriend an old lover comes back at, to win him because this guy was so great everybody wanted him back when you think about that first thing is this is a guy's former crew former work associate and it happens to be his family member his father you thinking this guy must have done something atrocious to these people that he got away, hid from his father, hid his grandkid from their grandfather. Now granted, you might say, oh my god, the grandfather's an evil guy. That's why he hid him away. They go halfway across the country to catch this nigga. They try to kill this nigga, get men killed at every turn of the way. And only reason is because, it's because they want him back in the family business. Because no one is as great as him at killing. Really? That's the whole plot? That you try to ruin this man's family, this man's life because you want him to be back with a band of brothers of murdering people. Like, the creators of this show messed up. The writers of this show didn't think this far enough. Like, the movie from the start all the way to the end is great. It starts losing plot as soon as they reveal why they trying to kill him. Why they trying to capture it. That's when the movie loses its spark for me. That's when I'm just like, wow, this is rubbish. This is rubbish. So, basically, in an hour 43 minutes, everything about the movie is great except for the last 15 minutes. Man, that's suck. That's shameful. That's bad. I'm sorry, folks, but that's my opinion on the damn thing. And there's nothing I can say about it or... You know, be frank about it. It's just sad and horrible. So, on a scale one to five in terms of action spy movies, I'd get I'd say Mark Wahlberg did a great job, but the writing was crap. How is the guy his father, and he only wants him so he can go back to killing? So this guy is willing. I want you to understand the concept is this guy wants his son back so he can continue the family business, heritage, fam. But he's willing to kill his grandkid to get his son back. Does that make logical sense? I mean, like if he found out his kid had grandkids, okay, I get trying to kidnap them and trying to, but not send sending assassins to actually try to shoot i'm sorry the, the, this audio is pretty loud you know them to shoot your own family your family members your grandkids and your daughter-in-law for that matter just so your son can join up and become a murderer again and then you claim to love your son that's preposterous that's an absurdity that's redundant that's just stupid that's my opinion on the matter anyway um thanks for watching remember to subscribe and uh, remember to donate blood you can save a life adios